my next guest has performed and spoken alongside everyone from Jennifer Aniston to Lin-Manuel Miranda to Hillary Clinton, not too shabby, and her writing has been featured in the New York Times, Boston Globe, and Washington Post, just to name a few. She's a recent Harvard grad, because why not, um, and the first ever National Youth Poet Laureate. That's what I call a whole lot of woman. All right, Amanda Gorman, are you there? Oh my gosh, you you are stunning. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, what your talent is stunning, your being is stunning. I'm so honored. I was literally saying that before you popped in here. So you, you're the first ever National Youth Poet Laureate, right? So yeah. what is what exactly does that mean to people that don't know, and how did you get that title? Definitely. So long story short, I began writing around five or six, I had a speech impediment growing up. So being able oh. to express myself through the written word was actually super important for me. I kept mm -hmm. writing. And then around in high school, I applied for a program to become the first ever Youth Poet Laureate of Los Angeles. And a Youth Poet Laureate is basically an ambassador representative for youth and literature in that region, but it had never been given to someone who was of my age and of their point in that wow. career. I won that and was LA Youth Poet Laureate. I was then like promoted to Youth Poet Laureate of the West. And after that, I applied again to be the first ever US Youth Poet Laureate as part of a kind of spoken word program that Michelle Obama helped spearhead when she was in the White House. And I got that. The way I describe is kind of like being mayor and then senator and then like president of youth yeah. poetry, basically. And, you know, being Youth Poet Laureate was phenomenal. I got to do things that I had never seen poets do before, whether it was reciting a poem at the top of the Empire State Building or with like the Boston Pops as an orchestra behind me or the opening the literary season at the Library of Congress, I really wanted to occupy spaces that young writers, writers of color, writers of color who were female had not been able to operate in prior. Absolutely. Um, so I hear that you have a new poem, right? Like you are a poem. Sorry, I'm yes. so Southern. You have a new poem um, that you're ready to debut right now, right? Yes, I am. I am very honored to present the debut of Amanda Gorman's latest poem titled Black Daughters Pointillism. Enjoy. I'm a piece of work. The mirror clears like a cloudy sky in my temple. The words brew. With a pen, I've been both the raised village and the razor. Don't they know I can stop a man's heart with one word? Writes the future like I'm dragging my fingers through wet sand. My every breath a song carved out of the dark I've left behind. I've always been a shadow of a girl leaping behind a bonfire trying to find its spark. Even in my quiet, I gather stories like how a sitting desk seeks dust. If I taste what I'm made of, it's black as licorice ink. Fresh page of a new dawn, they will know me and remember us. Girls who've stitched these stories in the satin folds of our skirts so they hiss as we march towards our freedom, our throats clanging, we bow, not because we've broken, but as an oak bends arching towards the light, we wink and glimmer like a bright fist of glass, each of us a serrated piece of girl hard at work. I mean, I'm like trying not to, you're so moving. Oh my God. <laughs> you're so good. You are so talented. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Thank you so much. I can't tell you how much that means coming from you. The oh, I don't know if it means anything, but it meant a lot to me. <laughs> All right. Well, we have someone standing by who also has huge dreams for her future. She's a 10 year old from the UK whose poem about the coronavirus pandemic has been published in a national anthology. Check her out right here. Happy 100th birthday, Captain Tom Moore. True British hero, you have truly helped us all. Fought bravely in the treacherous war. Grateful we are forevermore. Now you're helping our beloved NHS. Frontline workers doing their best. Raise so much money to help against the fight. 24-7, then working day and night. Keep wearing your medals and keep shining your crest. The day you were born, the world was blessed. You give us faith and you give us hope. When times are sad, you've helped us cope. Thank you so much for all that you do. Happy 100th birthday, 
from your country to you. All right, well, we have Ebony on the line right now. Ebony, hello. Hi. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to have you on the show. Um, so we also have Amanda Gorman here as well. You could say hello. Hi, Ebony. Hi. I, I wanted you to meet Amanda. Um, she's actually the first youth poet laureate here in the, in the United States. So I thought that was wow. pretty cool. I know, I'm blown away too. Um, <laughs> so Ebony, we just heard your poem. Happy 100th birthday, Cam uh, Captain Tom Moore, right? Yeah, Captain Tom Moore is a British hero who fought in World War II. He has been walking around his garden, lapped around his garden, and he's raised over thirty-three million pounds for the NHS, also known as the Natural Health Service. Um, he inspired me to write a poem, and I hope he inspires the next generation. This poem talks about making a difference and making other people feel better about themselves and express themselves. Which is why it, it has gone completely viral, why people are, are loving you right now. It's, we need these messages. Um, so, um, Ebony, you've already been published nationally, which is incredible. But I understand you're relatively new to poetry, right? How did this happen? Yeah, my mum posted a poem onto Facebook, and this lady called Angela Marston, um, she contacted my mum and she contacted her about my poem. She said that she, lo she loved my poem and now it's in a book called Poems for a Pandemic. I only started a year ago um, writing poetry. I absolutely love writing it and I feel like I can make a difference. So, I mean, Amanda, you've read some of Ebony's poetry, so what do you think of her talent? Oh my goodness. I mean, obviously, Ebony, I love your poetry. I love you. Yeah. Your poetry is beautiful. You're beautiful. I mean, everything that you have to say is great. And if you're up for it, I would love to continue this relationship. I would love to mentor you and stay in touch and keep reading your poetry. And hopefully one day when all of this, you know, becomes a memory, I would love if we could meet together in person. Yes! Thank you! Oh my gosh! <laughs> nice! I love you. Oh my God, I love your accent. It makes everything cooler too. Um, it's, it's amazing. So what do you think? Are you very excited? You want to do that? I'm so excited. I really can't wait. All right. Well, Ebony, I've got one more thing for you. We want to help you and Amanda get together in person. That's why as soon as it's safe to travel, we're flying you and your mom or mom, whichever, here to LA for a poetry jam with Amanda. How does that sound? <laughs> oh my gosh, I want to see y'all like duet. I want to see y'all do something like together. That would be so cool. She's freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Amanda and Ebony. I look forward to hearing your new work as you write it, both of you. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.